What's going on guys and girls? My name is Pharaoh, coach of the Black Country Bear Ticks, and we are about to play our very first match in Season 2 of the Critical Continental Cup. And, oh my god, I am so nervous. My stomach is absolutely churning. It's... There's something about the first match, you know, like it really, really gets your blood pumping. But, whew, okay, I've got to stay calm though. I've got to stay calm. I need my head straight for this game because it's not going to be an easy one. Let me show you the team that we're playing against. Okay, so these are the Philadelphia Politoads, you can see. We've got Rillaboom at the top and you just know that is going to be an absolute pain to deal with it can put out so much force honestly you don't know what what's hit you and then a combination of nine tails and arctivish i'll be honest this has been one of the biggest headaches for me trying to prep it's it, the slush rush on arctivish means that nine tails setting up hail is such a problem and then you've got the potential aurora veil which means that as much as you've got the power of arctivish with like vicious rend coming in you then can't kill them because that that aurora veil is just completely protecting them from everything but then you look at raichu is great you've got driftblim which is really hard to deal with at times and all the rest of the ones as well. You know, that Malamar. Good God. It's, it's awkward, man. It's awkward with its contrary ability. But I've... I've done my prep. I've done my homework. And I think I know what I've got. So, if I show you my team... Right, let's get in here. Ooh. Here we are. Okay. So, of the Mons we have got, we've got Casper and Dusk Noir. I think that having the bulk and potential to sort of play off the HP that Driftblim's got is going to be really good with that pain split. And Frisk, knowing items, always useful. Romeo the Rose Raid, I, I think is... It's really dangerous because it's weak to ice, okay? But at the same time, it gets the poison for dealing with the nine tails, and it gets the grass for dealing with the Arctivish. So, little dangerous, but I still think that it's going to be worth its weight in gold. And you'll notice that weather ball, okay? If they set up the hail, then that weather ball is going to be fantastic for dealing with the Driftblim and even the Dragalgi. So I'm thinking of that as being a little bit of a secret weapon, but obviously it's very situational, so who knows if it comes into play. Then we've got Trick and Morgrim. So Thunderwave is my plan for dealing with the speed of the Arctivish because the Slush Rush and Hail is going to double it. Thunderwave. Harvest straight back down, and then I'm not worried about how quickly it's dealing out that vicious friend. Uh, fake out, obviously, taunt as well can help with the Aurora Veil, and just dazzling gleam to have some sort of power output. And I also think that could be great for dealing with the Malamar. Then we've got shards, Duraladon. This is just this is just a giant cannon. <laughs> we've we've Put it with a salt vest, so hopefully it can take like at least a little bit of a pounding from something that's special. And it means that obviously we don't get protect and stuff, but I think the moves on it more than make up for it. We've got Aponia, the Mudsdale. I'll be honest, this is the one that I'm, I'm least sure about whether I need it or not. But obviously I've got to bring six Pokemon. I think I could probably do it with five, if I'm honest. But, well... Not could do it with five, I just don't know which of the rest of my team would be worth it. But we've got Mudsdale, and it's not bad. At least it might scare him off using the Raichu, because that Raichu, it, with its Lightning Rod, is potentially a real problem for Shards and its Thunderbolt. And then I'm bringing Ember. Follow me, user, so hopefully you can draw away some of those Ficious Wrens. And with the Flame Body... 
hopefully burn it. I mean, that's a long shot, obviously, but if it gets it, great. But then we've got the Focus Sash on it because, well, we need the Eviolite on Morgrim. And honestly, I don't think it would even survive uh, Fisher's Rend with the Eviolite. So I was like, sod it, Focus Sash it, great. Sunny Day also takes away the Hail and... Yeah, Brick Break is also good against Ice and taking away the Aurora Veil. So I have thought out my moves here. Who knows if it's going to be enough? We'll have to see. Let's get into it and see what Kanto has brought from their team. Wish me luck, guys. Right, here we go. I could not be more pumped for a match than this honestly i am i am so nervous i haven't been this nervous about a match since i think my very first match from last season uh i think it's something about first first match of the season you know but oh it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a good one i've prepped i know what i'm doing i know what to watch out for uh, that doesn't mean that I'm going to win by any means. I think this is a genuinely strong team. <clears throat> okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Right then, here we go. Okay, no Raichu. That's probably the best thing I could see. Right, these are the, the leads that I'm going with. There's, there's definitely a lots of concerning stuff in here, but nothing that I'm not ready for. Okay. I think bringing the Magmar. Um... And then, see the Romeo or Casper. I think. I think we go Romeo. Yep. If I'm wrong, next game we can switch to Casper. We'll see. We'll see. Like, Romeo works as a lead and it works in the back because it's it's potentially a lot of damage output. That Drift Blim is potentially an issue. Uh, the Malamar is no joke either. Obviously, Rillo and Ninetales Vish combo is definitely concerning. Here we go. Got a new card for the new season. What's the lead? Okay, Rilla and Driftblim. Okay, this is this is genuinely a hard lead to be honest, and I'm kind of sat here thinking, what do I do? I mean, Thunderbolt into the Drift Blim is the obvious play. Do we go for the fake out? Do we go for the taunt? Because the taunt on the Drift Blim is is good. Yeah, I think we go for the taunt. And basically, we're hoping that Rilla isn't doing some sort of fighting move here. Yep, that was expected. Tailwind. Okay, okay. 
that's speed set up for them, but we can handle that. Right, I still want that taunt off, and I still want another Thunderbolt. The, th the Thunderbolt's killing at this range. And if they go something like Strength Sap, they'll be taunted, so yeah. If they switch, potentially it's bad, but... Yeah, okay, fair enough, but they're, they're switching it into something that's taking a decent chunk of something here. Well, that's probably the best defense they can put up after I've said that. Oh, high horsepower, of course. At least we still take it. Oh, we get the paralyze is big. For sure. Is that okay? Okay. So that's Turtonator left or uh, leftovers. Um. <clears throat> Right then, now Draco Meteor almost certainly kills. I actually think we go for the go into the Rilla. Yeah, the only thing that we don't want that to happen is them to switch into Nine Tails. But other than that, and then if we go for the Thunder Wave onto the Rilla, then that might actually slow it down enough. Eevee like doing its job there. Because the thing is, we're almost certainly dying here, so we may as well just use this full power while we can. Yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. We expected to die there. Right, okay. I think if we because Trick isn't doing too much here. Like, one's already taunted, they're both already paralysed. Dazzling Gleam isn't doing a lot. Mm, it's doing something to the turret now. No, actually, because it's fire. Okay, so if we switch into Romeo, and then I think switch Trick into Ember. That's the play. Sludge Bomb's doing a decent chunk there, and then... Worst case scenario, Ember survives because of Focus Sash. The Paralyze on the turret now is actually probably doing not too much, but... Hey, if we can get one turn of them maybe not being able to move... Okay, sure. Shell trap didn't fall for that. Oh, the poison as well. I could not ask for more. Tailwind petered out, okay. So... I 
think we go Sludge Bomb into the turret. And then, honestly, just a Heat Wave. I don't know how much he's going to do to the Drift, but it should kill it. At least with the Poison. Yep. Awesome. It's down. Wow, that did way more than I expected. Iron defense, I presume that's for the body press. So what's left? There's the Rilla, and I think we haven't seen the last one. Still got Magma on a focus dash. Yeah, fine. Um, yeah, we just go sludge bomb into the Turk, because that almost certainly kills from what we've seen. And then another heat wave, which I'd like to think would kill the Rilla. I'm trying to think if there's any other items that I've seen, because I only know leftovers on Turt. Okay, so this is final Mon. Arctivish? Okay, sure. But no Tailwind. No snow set up. Arctivish avoided, that's fine. Awesome, Rilla goes down. two mons at this point. So we go energy ball into the Vish. And then do we go follow me heat wave see the brick break would do a lot but I don't want to double into it because of protect. Yeah, let's just keep clicking Heatwave. It's damage output. We're getting closer to killing. Yep, yeah, awesome. Arctivish down. Dragon Pulse? Okay. That'll hurt. Oh, yes. Roserade really showing the special defense stat there. And now we're quite happy to just sludge bomb. And I'm going to keep heat waving. In fact, no, I'm going to follow me. Because the sludge bomb will kill. And this wave there's any sort of shenanigans uh, I keep three alive so a better score yeah that's fine I'm pretty sure shell trap only works from physical damage anyway excellent oh first game 3-0 that's what we like to see fine 
let's uh, let's go again. I think he has actually picked the wrong rules. It's supposed to be Battle Tower, but normal rules works fine as long as you're still following the rules. Yeah, okay, cool. Letting me pick. Battle Tower. It's basically the same thing. It just forces you to not have the double items or uh, take more than four mons. It's, it's a good setup for what we're trying to do here. Hold up. Future Pharaoh here. Okay, so after the match, it was pointed out to me that the rule set actually made a difference on the levels because not everything got set to the same level like the rules that we actually should be going for do. Turns out Arctivish was level 70 compared to everything else being level 100. You may have noticed this. I did not at the time. When you're in the heat of the battle, you just, you get blinkered, all right? Anyway, afterwards, I've gone back, I've run the calcs, and regardless of these rule change, Arctivish would still have died where it did, no questions asked. Nothing else was affected, and I was able to do this because Kanto uploads his videos so I could see his side of the battle as well. I'll drop a link to his YouTube channel down below and wholeheartedly advise you to go check it out. All right. Thanks for that brief interlude. Now, on with the show. I've got no switches to make. Sorry, if I've gone quiet, I'm just uh, messaging Kanto now. Okay, then. Uh, oh, switched in the Dragalgi. That's interesting. And no more Turtonator. So knowing that item is probably... Not that great. Um, I'm just going to go for the exact same lead here. In fact, I think I'm just going for the exact four mons. Worked well before. I'm trying to think if there's any major issues I've got with this. No, not really. Okay. Let's run it. Okay, okay. Stay calm, stay calm. We're doing alright here, guys. Doing alright. His outfit is so cool. <laughs> okay, that's interesting going for the... The Nine Tails and the Rilla. That seems like an odd combination. Maybe I'm missing something. Like, I know Kanto knows what he's doing. Um. Right, well, we pretty much have to go the Flash Cannon into Nine Tails because it'll. It'll one shot. And then. I, I don't think I'm gonna be faster than Rilla, but. Oh, they could be going for the Aurora Veil. You know what? I'm gonna fake out into the Nine Tails. Because if it's Sash then it'll get around that, and if they're going for the Aurora Veil, it'll get around that. Obviously, fake out into... Oh! We got the first fake out. 
So, okay, good to know. Trick is faster than uh, Rilla. Okay. Awesome. Down in one. That's what we like to see. Okay, so we'll all lose a little bit from the hail, but then we'll get buffed back up by the grassy terrain. Lovely jubbly. What's coming out next? Now Malamar is a genuine concern. Okay, we can't use any of our prankster stuff. We just want to kill the thing, quite frankly. Okay, this is what we've got Dazzling Gleam for, though. Right, don't get me wrong, leaving Rilla alone is a bit of a concern. But at the same time... If Rilla's the only thing left, then I'm feeling alright about it. Oh my god, that came so close. So close to killing it. My horsepower does an absolute ton, but it doesn't kill. Superpower, yeah. That was a little bit to be expected. Well, absolutely to be expected. Okay, so I'm thinking here we go for the Magmar, because as much as I know Romeo could do a lot of damage to the Rilla, doing the spread means, because I'm not sure if the Dazzling Gleam will kill. It, it's it's close to being in range, but I don't think it's quite there. Um, and this would... I think the two double moves will, will definitely get it. Don't really need the sunny day here. It's only really for Vish. It's the problem. Don't get me wrong. Setting it up does make the heat wave crazy powerful. But I think we're doing enough. Yeah. Get rid of Rilla. I don't care. Drag algae. Sure. Yeah. Just just survived but dazzling gleams enough to take it down so now we've got just the dragalgi and the rilla hail will probably be over very soon Did we heal back up to full health on Magmar? Yes, we did. Excellent. I thought it's the same amount, but wanted to check. Right. So... What are we doing now? The heat wave's just fine damage, and it'll certainly hurt the Rilla. And then maybe a thunder wave on the Dragalgi. No, I'm just going for damage, you know. 
I'm just going for damage because Rose Raid is going to struggle. Okay. Wow, that's a big fake out. Oh, Flame Body though. That popping is amazing. Amazing. Hydro Pump. Okay. This will certainly kill Magmar. Yeah. All right. I'm going to struggle here. If anything, we want the hail to keep going now because that's what the weather ball is for. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be over. No, it's still going. Okay. Well, this is what our secret weapon is for. Nobody sees this coming, I don't think. Okay, come on, come on, hit that weather ball. Grassy glide, okay, sure. I was never gonna hurt me that much. We got the ice weather ball. And it takes it down, yes! That's fantastic. Hail stopped just in the nick of time we got that weather ball off. Oh. Oh, wow. I was so, so close to not running weather ball and running something like, I don't know, sleep powder instead. But, wow. Yeah, grassy terrain goes. And now, I think a single sludge bomb will probably do the job. Yeah. Wow. GG to Kanto really made me think there. But that's, uh, I think, yeah, 2-0 at the end of that, which is obviously the result that counts. Could not be happier. Honestly, I think that is an absolutely great way to start off the season um kanto played amazingly really gave me a run for my money uh made me think a lot i couldn't just click buttons um i, I think i i'd prepped for the right stuff though that is what i'll say and i think that's part and parcel of doing draft league you need to be able to look at what's coming and work out what you need to bring in response um, but hey, it doesn't always go your way, even when you do that work. So I'm, I'm happy, but that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and we'll definitely be here for week two, where I believe I am playing against Joshi Washi with the, uh, oh, Jubilee City Jirachis. I think that's the team name. I might be wrong, but yeah, take care all. Bye.